make a video about traveling and traveling on the low fat raw vegan lifestyle or just raw vegan lifestyle and I wanted to give you some tips on how I travel and what works for me and how to plan ahead for traveling for such an occasion. So my next tip is number five and it's water. Make sure you have lots of water. Traveling is really dehydrating because you know it's just it's you're, you're in this one place and it's just dehydrating so and you usually you don't drink as much water as you do in a normal day we've come to another big bullet point and that is make sure you're eating enough fruit and getting enough calories so that you have lots of energy to sustain you while you are traveling through you know the, your different modes of transportation between bus train you know subway car airplane whatever it is just make sure you're getting plenty of plenty of fruit and um, so I want to go through the best types of fruit to travel with and my number number one fruit that I love to travel with so dearly <laughs> are dates and I love dates so much because they're so dense in calories compared to the other fruits they're very sweet and I never get tired of them Another type of fruit that I love to have are bananas. The only thing is that you have to wait for them to ripen and then sometimes they get mushy. But other than that, bananas are really great because they come in their own packaging with the peel and everything and you don't have to do anything, you know, you don't have to wash them because they have the thick skin or skin, the peel to, um, to, to take in. Next are oranges. I love oranges. You just use your hands to peel it and you're ready to go and it's, they're really juicy and hydrating. Lots of water in them. Other ones that I love to bring are pears, apples, red and green grapes. They're really great. I mean, I just buy them and I just eat them just like that. So it's not a problem at all. And um, berries in their containers. I wouldn't, you know, because what I do with apples and pears is I just throw them all in one bag and I just stick them in my book bag or a box or whatever I have to put them in. But berries, you know, keep them in the container, obviously. That's probably obvious. An example of fruit that I wouldn't bring, I think this is important because you know, you don't want to be bringing this fruit. It's it's a little more, it has some difficulties, but obviously if you have, I would say, a, your own car, I'm thinking in this situation more of if you have to, you know, bring a book, like when I went to Boston this weekend, I didn't really bring any of these fruits because it would have been a little bit harder to, when you have to walk around a lot or you're taking public transportation and you don't have your own car. So here it is. I wouldn't bring persimmons, Persimmon, you know, when they're ripe, first of all, they take forever to ripen, so that's already going to take a while. You'll probably be back before they ripen if if you go for a weekend like I did. And when they are ripe, they get really mushy, and you don't want them to get everywhere and squishy and mushy, and it's just not ideal. Okay, the next one, is, next fruit is melons. They're very good, you know, you just cut them and they're easy to eat with a spoon. But on the other hand, they're very heavy and they take up a lot of space. And they don't have a lot of calories for um, the volume that they give. They're very hydrating, which is great, but I wouldn't bring them... I would bring them if I had a car, but I wouldn't bring them if I was walking around like I was in Boston. <laughs> okay, next fruit is pineapple. Although pineapple is really great and delicious too, I find that, you know, you have to cut it and it's just it's just not ideal and it's big and it has a funky shape and it's heavy so I, I mean I'd rather stick with dates which has more calories than um, than pineapple and my last tip when it comes to fruit is okay this is this is what happened to me I mean I think everybody pretty much hits this wall eventually when you're traveling and you just have dates I mean I had a huge bag of dates I think I had like five pounds in it and I brought it with me on the airplane and I was like, yeah, I love it. I mean, I, I love dates. You guys know how much I love dates. But um, eventually, you just want to have some something else. So I recommend when you bring dates to bring your dates and also pack some cucumber, celery, or lettuce. 
and eat it together with the dates so that way you don't get over sweetened right away or have your dates and then have some cucumber and lettuce and celery on its own or whatever you bring and it really makes a nice you know combination it's very watery you know the date is not and it's not sweet and the date is so it works really well together and you will really enjoy it and you won't hit that wall <laughs> like I did I mean it's really delicious cucumbers with celery and or and dates it's all delicious okay number seven make sure you get enough sleep when you get to your destination so meaning that when you are traveling when you're on the bus when you're on the car airplane yes you will sleep I'm sure for a little bit but you aren't laying down in a comfortable position at the temperature a nice warm temperature maybe you're cold uh, maybe you're like this and you know your neck is starting to give out whatever it is you want to get enough sleep to restore and reboot you for the next day and upcoming adventures which you're going to have so make sure you get lots of sleep and finally number eight and this one doesn't really have to do anything with you know raw food but it is great for traveling especially if you're traveling with friends in a car like I was in Boston so on the way back what we decided to do to kill some time was we played some games traveling games which I have are well this is what we did we first named all this we were like hey guys can we do you think we can name all the states in America we were like yeah we can so between the five of us we named all the states then we named all of the capitals and states and then we went on to conquer the world so we named all of the capitals of every country in the world and my friend just pulled it up on her phone and we had a blast doing it <laughs> we definitely learned a lot we we um, were very curious and we like to you know have fun like that other games are I know the alphabet game you know you start you go around with your friends and you do a, somebody says a word that starts with A, and then B, and then C, and then you have to kind of remember which letter it is, and the way you lose is if you don't pay attention, and you just forget which letter is up, or you repeat the letter that was before, or whatever, and it's a lot of fun too. And another game I've played before with my family is where we you pick a letter, somebody picks a letter, like K, and you just na everybody goes in a circle and takes turns as well and you you say words that start with that letter so king um okay <laughs> i want to say words that start with c <laughs> right now so um it's a little more see it's it's fun and you can have the time pass by really fast and have a lot of fun at the same time other games which we brought, and these are two of my favorite games which I recommend, well, I recommend. I absolutely love these games. The two games are Taboo and Bananagrams, so uh, they're really fun. They're very um, interactive with, you know, your friends, Taboo especially. I love board games. They're one of my favorite things to do with my friends besides, you know, going outdoors and to the park and enjoying nature. You can also bring a deck of cards. I've played card games in the car before card game cards and car card games in a car <laughs> so I've done that before and it was a lot of fun and you can play obviously a ton of different card games so I hope you all enjoyed this video I wanted to make a traveling video especially now that I just traveled I'm going to also make another video with me actually traveling so you can see what I brought with myself and how I managed and I took a few short video clips of Boston and what I did so stay tuned for that that'll be my next video after this one I was just inspired to you know get this information out there to you so if you're traveling or you know you will be traveling this summer just see how you can travel and how to do it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video please leave some comments down below you know suggestions on traveling um, if you have any questions um, just or any comments in general don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you want to see any more videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button right below this video I will be making more videos in the future don't forget to check out the description box below which includes my Facebook page if you aren't following me on Facebook already it's facebook.com slash just do it raw so check that out I'll be posting pictures fruity fruity things all things fruity uh, check that out I will be updating it so thanks for watching everybody and just remember when you're traveling just do it raw and I'll see you all in my next video bye take care